Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Let me share my screen real quick. And here it is. So today we're going to talk about a few things related to logins and security. Uh, and we will start uh, with uh, uh, functionality that uh, one of our customers asks us to add uh, logging out users automatically. So what is this and how it can be useful? So imagine a situation when you fire someone and you want to restrict their access to uh, whatever work application you have and you want to do it immediately. Uh, I know it sounds like a little bit like a, a movie like scenario but i mean you uh you're gonna be too careful so that makes sense and so we implemented this kind of functionality when you uh update a checkbox in a user's table and not only users uh, no longer be able to log in but they will logged out automatically so let's start with this part and we'll see and then we do other stuff like showing files online, prohibiting simultaneous logins, and showing files on the same page uh, in the application. Okay, let me see. So chat window right here. Any questions you have, feel free to ask at any time. So we created a simple demo project, uh, just a few tables, and actually just uh, one table that is important. It's a user stable and it has the following data in it. Uh, username, password, user cannot log in. That's a checkbox field. It holds one or zero, one or nothing. Uh, the latest IP address, the latest page users access, and uh, the login time or access time, actually. And, and let me show you how it works. Uh, it should be already on demo account. So I have already added uh, uh, anyway, it's not a problem. Okay, let me upload it to demo account again. And I will show you how it works. So I am going to log on as uh, two different users in uh, two different web browsers. And after admin updates that cannot log in checkbox, we should be able to see Okay, this is our admin user. Okay. Yeah, Chrome doesn't like admin, using admin as a password and it's going to nag us. Okay, so this is our admin window. Now I'm going to, going to open the same page in uh, Firefox. Firefox and I was logged in previously. I'm going to log out and I'm going to log in again as a different user, just the user. Okay. So I use two different browsers. This one is an admin, this one just a regular user. So Uh, we go to this page here and we will uh, update user's record saying that the user cannot log in. Okay, let's see. Click save. And we should be able to see that in a few seconds. Yeah, it is. Uh, in a few seconds, uh, our user user uh username user was locked out automatically you could see that okay first of all when uh, in before login event 
before user can actually log in, we are checking the value of this field. So if we try to log in again, let's do this. We should see the message saying that you can't log in. And a second part of it, uh, we need to check uh, the value of this field for the current user every few seconds. I'm, we're doing it in this project, we're doing it every five seconds. And if it changes from zero to one, we log in out user automatically. Okay, let's see how it was implemented. Okay. Uh, uh, event before login event. Uh, I hope you can see it. So what we're doing here, we just uh, retrieve the record of the current user from uh, table users. And if uh, user cannot login field is set to one, we uh, display message and we return false, meaning that user cannot log in. So before login returns false, if we want to prohibit uh, the login. That's it, that's the first part. I will be adding comments as we speak. See if the user is allowed to log in. So this is a simple part, right? But, uh, what if we want to do uh, that thing that we want to check every few seconds? Uh, so uh, it's uh, as usually uh, like it's going to involve uh, using AJAX technology, and we are doing a post to load to the login page. Or we for action get login param that's uh, so we can recognize it from all other similar functionality that we might be using and if it returns uh, one then we uh, redirect user to the special url login.php uh, action logout uh, apparently it will be slightly different in uh, c sharp i mean it, code will be slightly different and URLs will be slightly different. Uh, we will have a .NET version of the project as well. So no worries about that. Uh, so we define this function, get login param, that uh, sends a post request to login.php page. And if it returns one, we log out user automatically. If it doesn't return anything or return zero or anything else, we just keep the user being logged in. And uh, and if we are not on the login page, we set this function to run uh, to be executed every five seconds. That's what you can change. Let me add the comment. If we are not on the login page. So this is the client part of it. It's JavaScript. Let's see how this request is being handled in uh, PHP code. Login page. Pink server every five seconds to see if the user still can log in. Okay, I hope it makes more sense this way. Okay. So login PHP, uh, let's check login page before process event. Let me, okay. So this part, this is what we're doing. We're checking the post value, get login param. That's uh, action that we have set here, right here. So this is it. Field A value get login param. And what we're doing here is uh, we get in the, data of the current logged user. It's just a record from a user's table. And uh, we output the value of the field user cannot log in. So it will be either one or zero or being empty or anything. If it's not one, 
that means uh, it's fine. If it's one, then we uh, log in out here automatically.